Brain development in utero really has a domino effect. It's really putting together those building blocks at a cellular level with the most solid foundation that alters the trajectory of brain development for the rest of that individual's life. Up until 10 years ago, we primarily focused on the fetus as developing just under the influence of nature. But now we know that there is also a nurture component that starts in utero. My work is looking at how we can prevent mental illness by addressing human fetuses in utero. The essence of our study is minimizing the risks of schizophrenia as well as other mental illnesses in the womb. The game-changing element of this work is that we may be able to take a simple intervention, a supplemented nutrient, and change the prevalence of schizophrenia. I'm tremendously grateful for this award and also that the Brain and Behavior Research Foundation recognizes that the nine-month period of fetal life does have the capacity to change the mental health for the rest of that individual's lifespan. There is so much to life and death and health and illness that we still have no idea about, that we're still unclear about. And really the only way to continue to discover is through research.